Jeff and Max here at the Sun Valley Auto Club. We got the uh, 1971 C20 uh, up on the rack, and uh, this shows really well. And so we're going to take a look on the underside so you can see what we're seeing. First thing I see is spare tire. So that's nice to have. A lot of these classic trucks, uh, they just go without the spare, but full spare. Yeah, that's pretty nice to see. I'm also looking at a um, no leaf springs back here. This is a coil system being the camper special. So a lot of car-like driving characteristics, um, but we are looking at rear drums, and I'm looking at some new shocks too in the back. That's nice. Um, and what's really cool about this truck is it's always lived in Idaho, so no rust, nice and dry climate, and all pretty darn original under here. Yeah, what makes this truck, you've seen the uh, walk-around video and the photos, and we'll kind of take a look at some of the, the paint on here too, where you usually get this level, on these trucks and the thing falls apart. No paint bubbling, no issues down here. The underside is not, that's not, uh, it's not showy uh, like the top of the truck, but if you were, oh, <laughs> Andy just bumped into me. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're gonna keep rolling because this is, this is, these are the idiots that we put up with. But here's the deal on this truck. We're fighting through this. If you wanted to paint the underside, it's certainly rust free, but I think you'd be missing the point on this truck. This truck is meant to be driven. It's so nice to drive that if you painted us all up to show quality, go for it. But a little patina under here is just fine. You're not going to be afraid of your truck. Nice new exhaust system. Uh, it sounds really good, and those are exits right in front of the, the rear tires. And those look really sharp with nice chrome tips too. And it's got a great sound. It's not too loud. It definitely lets you know that there is a 454 in the day. There's your corner boxes. 90% of the classics we see are all mudded up in there. And uh, that's just a great place for water to collect. And not the case here. That's just dry factory metal all the way through. Yep. A few new bolts on the for the running boards, but very original. I mean, you're looking at the original frame, drive line, etc. New shocks up front too, and you do have discs on the front, which is really nice. Yeah, you got a lot of track. You want to be able to stop it. Yeah. Nice wishbone suspension. Once again, the coils up front with the shocks. So this is a, like I said before, a 454 engine, and uh, just purrs, no smoke out of the engine, starts right up every time, runs out. I drove this truck up to about 75 miles an hour on the interstate, and no drama. Yeah, all the, all the bearings are nice and tight, the suspension is nice and tight, there's no wobble in the wheels. This is a go anywhere, do anything truck. So that pretty much covers it underneath here. Um, if you've got questions that we've missed, you want us to come back and shoot a particular area uh, or video, let us know. purpose of this video is just to show you that, uh, kind of like Max's statement there, it's a no drama truck. It's one thing to have it look good uh, on top, but if you're sitting on a rust bucket underneath, then you've got problems. This is just one solid truck um, that's sure to turn heads. So Shep and Max here. If you haven't seen the uh, walk around video, please uh, give us a shout and we'll direct you to that link. Uh, I'm at 208-721-1973. And you can reach Max at 208-720-8854. Buy this truck before Max does. Seriously. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day.